my camera got cut off after a certain amount of time, so I'm back. And let's go back to this problem where we were finishing up. So we already had our line down drawn. We had our, we said to ourselves more on top or more on the floor. We said more on the floor. We went next door, got 10 more. So now there's seven tens in the tens place. And we added that 10 to the six to make 16. And we were just getting ready to subtract. So either drawing circles, 16, I'm using my number line, 16, jump back seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I land on nine. So my nine goes in the ones place. Then I go to my tens place and I take seven. So I have seven fingers, take away two. I have five fingers left. So my answer is 59. So that was just a quick review of our two digit subtraction with regrouping. Remember to ask yourself and follow those rules each time because you might not have to regroup every time. Now these problems, yes, we did regroup every time just because that's what we are practicing. But when we're in third grade or fourth grade, we're going to see problems all the time and we are, you might not have to regroup. So don't forget these rules. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. Or if the numbers are the same, zeros the game. We have to get that in our mind and make that a habit when we are doing our subtraction. So I will have some links for you to practice your subtraction with regrouping. And then I will be back, I think on Friday, I will be back to do a problem solving uh, lesson with you using our UPS check, which I have behind me. You can't see the whole poster, but we'll go through those steps on Friday. So I hope you have a great day. Take care, everybody, and see you later. Bye.